you know, you're, you're... I'm Shannon, and I'm a newly single PhD candidate. And this is your brain on breakups. In responding to a stressful or upsetting situation, such as your boyfriend breaking up with you as if the past two years meant nothing to him, your body springs into fight or flight mode. This response starts in my brain with the hypothalamus, which activates my adrenal glands to produce the stress hormones, adrenaline, and cortisol. These then trigger an increased heart rate, anxiety, hyperventilation, and even a reduction in digestive activity, thus destroying my relationship with my other two true loves, ice cream and chips. Quite literally. Studies have shown that the brain processes emotional pain in the same way it processes physical pain. Oh, I think she's saying I can't do it right now. Seeing a photograph of a recently ex-lover has been shown to activate the somatosensory cortices, or the areas of the brain which are also responsible in the signaling and intensity and location of pain. So yes, as far as my brain is concerned, love hurts. Interestingly enough, a study found that acetaminophen, aka Tylenol, which is commonly used to treat physical pain, was also effective in lessening the emotional pain of breaking up. Whiskey was not in that study. Two years, two years, and you end it when I say I love you, Craig. Some researchers go so far as to suggest that romantic love is an addiction. Feelings of romantic love are shown to excite the same reward pathways activated by drugs of abuse, including alcohol, opioids, cocaine, and amphetamines. People in love also exhibit drug addiction-like behaviors such as mood modifications, cravings, emotional and physical dependence, and for me right now, withdrawal. Another, please. Getting over a breakup can be hard, but fMRI studies of the brain show that reactivating reward pathways can be helpful. Some studies suggest that hanging out with a close friend can help reduce cravings for an ex-partner. Similarly, exercise has been shown to improve mood by increasing endorphin levels and dopamine activity in the brain. So, in the eternal words of Gloria Gaynor, by growing strong, I may learn how to get along. I will survive. Hey, 